Don't know where that came Start from. Start with the difference. I can't, you can't help it. Welcome back to this morning. But we've just nipped down the river to the east end. Yeah, Sharon Marshall's been for a stroll around Albert Square in search of an East Ender soap legend. Of all the icons of Albert Square. Well, today's soap legend is the longest serving of them all. And he's a lover, a fighter, a pie maker. I'm trying to think of more clues to give you, but I've got nothing left. That's right, today we are meeting the Adam Woodjet, as we keep it real with Ian Beale. Walford's longest serving resident has been on our screens since the very first episode back in 1985. With the show and Ian Beale celebrating their 40th anniversary next year, I think it's time to meet Adam himself. Adam Woodyard, thank you so much for being our soap legend today. I'm going to go right back to life before Ian Beale. I know you're Sylvia Young. Kid, yeah. And you'd been on the stage. You had the acting book very young. No, I, I got the bug for getting days off school and getting paid for it. <laughs> um, and then I discovered you also get to be on telly. Ah. Uh, yeah. And in May 1984, you are invited to audition for I a new show. Couldn't make it. They phoned up and said, oh, can you get in for an audition tomorrow morning? And it was like, uh, no. Just physically just could not get there in time. So the audition went, and it just And you thought, moved well, on. Yeah. this new show, I, I won't be in it. But two months later, they got hold of you. Good job I turned out, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good job indeed. And on the 19th of February, 1985, we got our first glimpse of a young Adam as Ian Beale. Your very first appearance on the screen, you are chatting to Michelle and Sharon. That's Sue Tully and, of course, yeah. Tish Dean. What were they? Tish Dean. Who's that? <laughs> No, I've never heard of Remember her? her? I've known Tish yes. since I was 10. Right. Because we used to go to auditions together. Yeah. So I, I knew Tish years before we even came here. And I've heard you two were a little bit of trouble and get sent home for giggling and being a bit naughty. That right. was very early on. Round about episode 20-ish, something like that, where Michelle's in, invented this sort of, like, fake boyfriend or so we, we think. And, yeah, we all got the giggles on the Friday and they went nuts at us and sent us all home and we had to come back in on the Saturday to rehearse the scenes. <laughs> yeah, w weren't good. One person you wouldn't dare have the giggles in front of was Ian's grandmother, Lou Beale, played by Anna Wing, who left the show in 1988 and sadly passed away in 2013. So we got Anna Wing on the on yeah. the other wall there. Who Lou I always called Gran. And was she like your grandmother? I mean, oh, no, on brill. screen, she's the, the matriarch and quite formidable. What, what was she like in real oh, life? Oh, no, she was fantastic. I, I had um, the first time we had Julia's theme was episode 16. Mm -hmm. And it was when Ian was um, crying to his, to his gran about his dad bullying him. Yeah. And I was absolutely cacking myself about how am I going to cry? Where, where's, where's that going to come from? And I went and saw Anna during the lunch break and she was like just just don't worry about it it'll be fine it'll it'll come yeah and sure enough the tears came and i don't know if julia had planned julia's theme for that scene or if because of how the scene went julia's theme evolved from it but yeah that was that yeah it was her fault you wait till i sort your dad out you wish i'd never had him <laughs> After so many years on EastEnders, it's no surprise Ian's racked up so many wives and girlfriends. DJ, run that track. There's a little bit of Mandy. Denise. Denise. Don't forget Rainy. Dawn. Janine once as well. A couple of times, but I had to pay. But the real question is, who was the love of Ian's life? Do you even need to actually ask? Well, I guess there's been that many. Cindy. I think for Ian, it's always been Cindy. I mean, Jane's probably mm. the best choice for him, but for the love of his, his life, I think, without doubt, it's Cindy. I do want to talk to you about uh, another very significant relationship in, in Ian Bill's life. Phil Mitchell. Oh, oh come on. Oh, this he's, is so... he's, he's just about to overtake me. <laughs> What's in episodes? In 10? episodes, he, no. he, he sent me a text uh, a couple of weeks ago saying he's, he was ten behind. Put it this way, he will tell me when he overtakes me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love this rivalry between this pair? Um, I know he sticks your head down the toilet a lot. And oh, it's been a while. <laughs> um, you have these little 
pairings that crop up over the years to bring the best out of each other. After all these years, mm -hmm. do you think you are a little bit Ian Bill in real no. life? Really? Not at all. I'm Nothing. a much better chef than he is. <laughs> well, we are fast approaching the mm. 40th anniversary of the show and the 40th anniversary of Ian Beal. What mm. keeps you coming through those doors? Because nine days out of ten, I have a laugh. Actually, it's probably more than nine days out of ten. It's probably 99 out of 100. I, I genuinely enjoy it and um, enjoy the people I work with. And we have a lot of fun. It's a, it's a nice way to earn a living. Well, long may you continue. Thank mm. you very much, Adam Odiat. That was your soap. Oh, Life. Thank you. Do I get to keep this? Of course you do. No, I don't. She <laughs> <laughs> lied. He's so naughty, isn't he? He is. And she said she loved chatting with him because he's been doing it such a long time. I'm not sure all of the interview made it onto air. I don't think because so. Because of the naughty uh, little mischief he has. There'll be but... a late night version. <laughs> we have loved that series, Sharon, so thank you so much Great. for all that.